Now it's maths time children. In our last videos, you all have learnt about the different types of shapes. Plain shapes and solid shapes. And today, I will teach you about the patterns. So first of all, let me tell you that what is a pattern. So children, anything that repeats itself in a particular order forms a pattern. That means patterns can be formed by repeating objects, shapes and designs in a different way. With the help of one video, I will show you how patterns can be formed in different ways and I want you all to watch the video. Let's learn about patterns. Blue, red, blue, red, blue. Now what will come the next? Yes, that's right, red. So, a pattern is something that repeats over and over again. Now let's see another example. Circle, square, circle, square, circle. Can you tell what shape will be next? Oh yes, square. Now let's try different patterns. Cat, cat, dog, cat, cat, dog, cat. Okay, what animal is going to be the next? Yes, cat. And after cat? That's right, dog. So you all have seen? How patterns can be formed by repeating objects, shapes and designs in different ways. Now we will do the book work. This is page number 54. Now we will start with exercise number E. Let us read the question. Join the objects to the shapes. Join the objects to the shapes. Children, here you can see the picture of different objects are given here. See, this one is Rubik's Cube, this is a basketball, this is a candle, a brick, and a Christmas tree. These are square boxes. Then an orange, a bucket, a body hat, and a water bottle. So what you have to do? You have to match these objects to its correct shape which are given here in the middle. This one is a sphere. This is a solid shape. It is called sphere. Next one is cube. This is cuboid. This is cylinder and this is a picture of a solid shape of yes cone. So for an example one is done here this is a picture of a body hat. And what is the shape of this body hat? Yes, cone. So, this one is matched with cone. Similarly, we will do for the other objects also. This is a picture of a Rubik's Cube. So, what is the shape of this object? Yes, cube. So, we will match it with cube. Next one is, what is the shape of this football or basketball? Yes, fair. So, we will match it with this. Next is, candle. It is in cylindrical shape. So, we will match it with this cylinder shape. Next one is, a brick. What is the shape of this brick? Yes, cuboid. So, we will match it with this. 
Now next one is a Christmas tree. What is the shape of this Christmas tree? You can see it is in the shape of a cone. So we will match it with cone. Now here you can see there are many boxes in the shape of a yes cube. So we will match it with the cube. Now next one is this is a picture of an orange. So it is in the shape of a sphere. So we will match it with this. Next is a bucket. So what is the shape of a bucket? Yes. Cylinder. Okay. Now next one is a water bottle. What is the shape of this water bottle? Yes, it is also in the shape of a cylinder. So we will match it with this. Okay. I hope you all have understood. Now let us move to the next question. How many of each shape do you see in the pictures above? How many of each shape do you see in the pictures above? Here, you all have seen so many pictures of gi given here of different objects. So, what you have to do? You have to count the number of objects of each shape. For an example, this one is a sphere shape. Okay. So, how many sphere shaped objects are there? One and two. Okay. These two are in the shape of a sphere. So, here you will write two. Similarly, you will write the number of objects of each shape here in the given boxes. This is your homework. Next page number 55. R O L L I N G rolling and S L I D I N G sliding, rolling and sliding. It is fun to roll a ball. Children you can see the child is playing with this ball and children if you will push a ball what will happen? It will roll. Okay? Because of its shape. That means round shaped objects roll when you will push it now it is fun to slide s l i d slide d o w n down it is fun to slide down children you can see the child is playing on this slider or we can say he is sliding on a slider so objects that has a flat surface will slide okay now we will do the exercise circle the objects that can slide circle the object that can slide tick the objects that can roll so this is a picture of a brick this is a tiffin box and this is a picture of a pencil box so all these three objects have flat surface so these objects will slide so we have to circle it like this okay and this is a football an apple this is a paintbrush and this is a lemon so all these shape objects will roll so we have to put a tick mark like this.